We do not want you to be uniform brothers and sisters, but the trouble we experience in the province of Asia. We were under great pressure far beyond our ability to endure, so that we despaired the life itself. Indeed, we felt we had received the sentence of death. But this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God, who raises the dead. He has delivered us from such a deadly peril, and He will deliver us again. On Him we have set our hope that He will continue to deliver us, as you help us by your prayers. Then many will give thanks on our behalf for the gracious favor granted us and the answer to the prayers of many. Now this is our boast, our conscience tes testifies that we have conducted ourselves in the world, and especially in our relation with you, with integrity and godly sincerity. We have done so, relying not on wor uh, worldly wisdom, but on God's grace. For we do not write you anything you cannot read or understand. And I hope that, as you have understood us in part, you will come to understand fully that you can boast of us just as well, boast of you in the day of our Lord Jesus. Confirm your thoughts and refine your singing that you may sing his praises through the goodness of the compassion. I mean, may the sweet aroma which you offer from you, my Lord, at the time when Mary the sinner 
for fragrant oil upon your head be joined with this incense which we offer to your honor and for the pardon of our debts and says, O Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. He was being carefully watched. There in front of him was a man suffering from abnormal swelling of his body. Jesus asked the Pharisees, an expert in the law, it's lawful to heal on Sabbath or not, but they remained silent. So taking hold of man, he healed him and sent him to his way. Then he asked them, if one of you has a child or an ox, that fall into, the, uh, into a well on a Sabbath day, 
will you not immediately pull it out? And they had nothing to say to Jesus. When he notes how the guests pick the places of honor at the table, he told them this parable. When someone invites you to a wedding feast, do not take the place of honor. For a person more distinguished than you may have been invited. If so, the host who invited both of you will come and say to you, give this person your seat. Then humiliated, you will have to take the least important place. But when you are invited, take the lowest place so that when your host comes, he will say to your friend, move up to a better place. Then you will be honored in the presence of all the other guests. For all those who exile themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Then Jesus said to, the, uh, to his host, When you give a luncheon or dinner, do not invite your friends, your brothers, your sisters, your relatives, or your rich neighbors. If you do, they may invite you back, and so you will be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, and crippled, the lamb, the blind, and you will be blessed. Although they cannot repay you, you will be repaid at, at the resurrection of Rajas Shukha.
given as for fuel for fall with us, your grace and pour forth. Through us your gift and may the mercies and compassion of your God help be with the pardon of the deaths of your, of your people and for the forgiveness of the sins of all the sheep of your pasture whom you have chosen for yourself and your grace and mercies, O good one and friend of man, Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Amen. O my Lord, grant us in your compassion that we may all together equal you all the days of our lives. Please your Godhead with good words of righteousness, which satisfy our propitiate the glorious will of your Lordship. May we be worthy with the aid of your grace to lift up to your praise, honor, confession, and worship at every hour, O Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Amen.
together the beginning of this, the period of summer actually last period was the apostles period and this period we're gonna actually it start from tomorrow we call it the period of summer and the beginning of this period we call it uh, in a Syrian language Nusardil which is uh, translated the feast of God we thank our Lord Jesus Christ who give us this opportunity again to be with you and celebrate together the highest things in our life, which is the Eucharist, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. As I told you, the period of summer, church is trying to invite us to live the life of Trinity, the life of knowing of, of, of our Lord Jesus Christ, only the Savior. After the weeks of apostle, which mean after receiving the power of the Holy Spirit and spread the word of God, to all nations proclaiming the good news today start the period of giving fruits in our life for today the holy gospel actually that we recited to you was from Luke chapter 14 verse 1 till 14. jesus is teaching us this mercy and humility are essential demands to enter into the kingdom of god that our Lord Jesus Christ has promised us. Mercy reached the heart of God because he is love, and humility allows us to dwell in God's presence and enjoy him. Our Lord Jesus was the first to follow this path as he was merciful and humble as he was in this earth. Merciful when the man was freed from his spiritual and physical captivity, he entered, Jesus entered the house of one of the chief Pharisees to invite him to accept the kingdom of God, but he found himself, he found him a prisoner of his religion. Jesus held the patient and invited the Pharisees to accept the grace of healing from his spiritual illness and, and rest on the Sabbath, the day of God's rest. Sabbath is not a day off from everything in life, but a day when we offer glory to God. Our Lord has, has kept the, the sanctity of, of the Sabbath and made it a celebration of meeting God with the humility, with the humility of man this meeting is a meeting of thanks. We can imagine today the feeling, the feelings the people experienced as they were healed on, on the Sabbath, the day of God's rest, because they left, uh, they felt that God was close to them through Jesus Christ and beloved and merciful. This wasn't understood, understood by the Pharisees who wanted to, to apply the law of Sabbath, forgetting the person who God loved and created in his image and likeness. And li likeliness. The Sabbath is for man, not man for the Sabbath, as Jesus said in Matthew chapter 2, verse 27. Man strive in his life to be the first, a limited ambition, but not to, but to be first, he wrestles with his fellow man, his brother, and perpetuates the power of evil and sin. Our Lord Jesus did, uh, didn't 
abolished this ambition to be the first, but changed the, uh, the process and made humility to, uh, and serve of others the way to achieve this ambition. The man who is in need knows himself well, is aware of the talent that God has bestowed upon him, and he is honest with himself confess his sin, believing in the mercy of God, which accepted him and gives him the opportunity to witness the salvation of God, to seek to live the life of God and earth. He doesn't seek, he doesn't seek it for praise or reward, but rather a witness to God's love that has saved him and made him healthy from all disease especially the spiritual disease. A humble person is one that forgets himself and instead thanks of God and his neighbor and wants to give him a better place. This is what distinguishes us from others. We are children of the kingdom of God and we live like our Lord Jesus Christ, loving freely and generously and everyone will experience the life of brotherhood. We must be merciful because mercy reached the heart of God and man's ambition is to be with God the Father, to give God, to give God the priority in his life. The true relationship with God introduces us to our sins and our great need for him and makes us merciful like him. Any religion that leads us to criticize and judge other is a religion empty of God. So we have to be, we have to be, we have to be wary of it, because this religion leads us to sit in, in, in God's place, judge people, and seek personal glory. Our Lord teach us that peace will be absent, will be absent from the heart of the man who was looking for the first place and praise and praise of the people. But the one who seeks the glory and benefits of others is a man of peace because God's living in him who left his place and went down to serve other people. Today, today's lesson is this, God must be priority in our life and also we must be merciful and humble in our life as he is with us and always he loves us and guide us in our life and feed us in our lives as a people of God. Amen. May God bless you and bless your family. Let us, let us all kneel down and asking him to forgive our offenses and our trespasses and make us worthy to receive today his body and blood. Amen. O oh, our good and merciful God, O oh, our good and merciful God, whose grace and compassion are poured out upon all, pour out, my Lord, your compassion and kindness upon these your servants. Change them through the hope of renewal again to a changed life. Renew within them your Holy Spirit with which they were sealed into the day of salvation. Purify them in your compassion from all defilement of flesh and spirit. Strengthen the hope of their faith through the assistance of your grace. Guide the steps of their ways and the, and the pathways of righteousness and, and grant them delight with the sense in your kingdom through the truth of the hope of, the, of their faith and the adoptions of son and gladness and the absorbing mysteries strengthen them through the assistance of your mercies that they may keep your commands and fulfill your will and confess worship and praise your holy name O lord of all father and son and holy spirit amen <laughs>
from your exalted place, O Christ, you who forgive our debts and sins and make our offenses to pass away through your glorious holy life giving and divine mysteries, O Christ, the hope of our nature, all wise and forever. Amen. celebrated and honored and his glorious holy life given and divine mysteries deem us worthy of the assembly glory of his kingdom of delight with his holy angels of confidence before him and of standing at his right hand in the Jerusalem above through his grace and mercies to whom we glory and upon us and all creation may the right hand of his goodness rest now, always and forever and ever. Amen. 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 May God bless you and bless your family as well. Allah barakallahu khamilukum salamat go with peace. Allah khamilukum wa anukum.